Hey guys and girls, how's everything doing? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to all my sisters and brothers. And peace, peace, peace to all my other friends and followers. It's your brother Abdullah. You know we coming to you live from the smiling coast of West Africa. You know we coming to you from the Gambia. Wallahi alhamd. Today, mashallah, we have a wonderful, wonderful video for you guys. I've been promising you this. I've been promising you this. I've been promising you this for so long. But today, I fulfill my promise. Today, we're going to come to you from the kitchen of West Africa, direct from the Gambia, to show you the culture, the beautiful culture of the Gambia, the culture that's steeped inside the food. And what food did we choose? We chose the best food from West Africa, from Senegal, from Gambia. We chose Benachin. You know where we're going with this. Today, we're going to experience the whole entire enchilada from the beginning, from shopping, from going to the market, from going to the African local market, going to the Gambian local market, all the way to preparing the food, cleaning the food, getting everything prepared. We're going to do the cooking. We're going to do everything. We're going to do all the way to the plating and we're going to do to the eating. We're going to enjoy today. You guys stick around. This is going to be a tremendous video. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss our videos. We are here today for an epic video, guys. You guys got to be here. Don't miss this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ar Rahman. Okay, hey guys. So here we go. We're taking our walk on our way to the market, walking through our neighborhood in Central Alaji. Just enjoying. It was a wonderful morning. It was really warm. The sun was out bathing. Alhamdulillah, we were just strolling along. We got to the market. It was a beautiful small market. We know the lady really well who owns the market. She's like a mother to us. So you see she has her everyday uh, wares out there, everyday goods, vegetables, uh, seasoning out there. They sell fish there. They're like a family. They've been with us since I've been in here, since I've been in uh this neighborhood, they've been with me over two years now. So they're like family. Um, we always get our you know, local food from them. So you see our seasoning here. We got our lemons, salt, pepper. We got all our seasonings. We need it. Uh, you know, we did a little chat and everybody was there saying hi. So after we finish, we headed back, started to walk back, enjoying. You see the dogs laying out, just minding their business. Everybody's just relaxing. It was, like I said, it was a wonderful morning, really sunny, really bright out. Um, yeah, we just took our time, walked back. We had to go to another shop because we had to get the chicken. So we went to that shop. That's another lady who we also know um, very well, where we actually where we get our breakfast from all the time. So, you know, we know the place very well. The chicken is very good. We always get it from there. We weighed our chicken one kilo. And after we weighed our one kilo, we had to check, make sure it was accurate Everything was accurate. We got our chicken, bagged it up, and we were back on our way, strolling back home, just enjoying, you know, taking our time. It wasn't no rush. Everything was cool, so we just wanted to relax, take a nice walk. We strolled through the neighborhood. I really love this neighborhood so much. It's so peaceful, so calm. You could just feel the tranquility. I seen two of my little friends. You know, they're always sitting out. They were just playing a video game on their phone. So I wanted to say hi to them. They said they wanted to be on the video. So I let them get a little bit of video time. They were happy for that. And then, you know, on our way to the house, got to the house, got up in the gate, you know, opened the gate up, got up in there struggling to get the key in there. We got the key inside of there, walk inside the house and we're ready to get started. Now we got our water running on our chicken you know, getting a chicken ready so we can start preparing the chicken to get cleaned. So let's get this chicken cleaned. We first we got to peel all of the skin off of the chicken, get all of this skin off of the chicken. We got to pull back. You know, this is a little rough process, but we're going to get it done. Got the rest of the chicken sitting right in the water. You know, we're going to do our cut and get all the stuff peeled back. The chicken is really fresh chicken. We really love getting chicken from this lady. She really always has really fresh, good chicken. So it's really cool to get the chicken from her. You know, we're going to go through the process. Got to yank a little. 
get that skin. There we go. Skin is off the chicken. Now let's go. Now we're going to get into the process of washing the chicken. We have our salt. Let's get our salt on there. We're going to scrub the chicken with the salt. You know, scrub it down, give it a nice bath, make sure our food is nice and clean. After that, we rinsed our food, we rinsed our chicken off. Now we're going to cut into our chicken so that we can get our seasoning inside of the chicken and do our marinade. We have to prepare the chicken, make sure everything is cut so that all of those tasty goods could go inside. We got our seasonings here. So many different nice kind of seasonings. We got some from America, some from the Gambia. You could use whatever kind of seasonings you want, whatever works for you. We put our seasoning in there. We get in all of our seasoning and then getting our mustard in there. Everything is going to get mixed around. Got our pepper, paprika, uh, all of our good seasonings. We even got some Goya. We got our Jimbo. Uh, so, yeah, you know, we're just going to get everything all meshed up in there. We want to get everything all nice and good in there. Get our Jimbo all in there. That's Jimbo is an African seasoning. Definitely uh, really popular in Africa. So we're going to get our seasonings all in there. Once we get everything in there, we're going to get our vinegar. We're going to splash it down, give it a nice little bath of our vinegar juice. Get everything all in there. We want to get everything all nice. Then we're going to mesh all of that in, mix everything up. Got to get your hands dirty. So we're going to mesh, every, mesh everything up. Excuse me. We're going to get everything all nice and in there. Get the juices all inside of that chicken. Now... We got that done. We're going to these are all of the vegetables that we have bought. So this is, you know, this is just to showcase the vegetables that we had got. OK, so we have our wonjo flour or hibiscus flour. Now we're on to our onions. We're going to get our onions all cut up, get everything in there. Got to peel the skin off. You know, we're just taking our time, making sure we're getting all the goodness in there. Get those onions nice and cut up, peel that skin off. After we get to peeling that skin off, then we'll move on to our our Chinese onion. That's what they call it here, Chinese onion. So we'll move on to that. We'll get all of that cut up, get everything cut up, strip it down, get everything washed. You look at everything now, nice and washed, looking fresh. We got our fresh black pepper, our peppercorns. So we're gonna put those inside of the pounding bowl. Get everything pounded. Look at that. That's looking amazing right there. We're going to get everything pounded. Get all of that pounded down. Mix our garlic in there. Put our garlic in there. Pound that pepper and that garlic together with our hot peppers. This is definitely, we got our green peppers, our sweet peppers. We got our red peppers and yellow peppers. We got a, just a whole bunch of goodness going on in here. This is just a lot of goodness to make that uh, marinade, make that gravy. This is just coming along really wonderful. You see all of that just coming along beautifully. That's how we pound here in Africa. We get our Chinese onion nice and chopped up. Chop all of our Chinese onion in there. We get that pounded in. That is just looking utterly amazing, guys. You know that's looking so good right now. Now we're going to move outside get our fire ready we gotta you know this is a charcoal fire this is africa this is not america this is not the west you know we know the temperature of the charcoal here in africa so we're going to get our charcoal fire ready get that all set to go as we wait for our charcoal fire to get ready we'll fan that put some heat on that and we'll get our chicken our chicken all marinated now that our chicken is marinated, it's been sitting for an hour. We want to get that. It was sitting for an hour in the refrigerator, in the freezer. So we want to get that chicken on the charcoal now. Start getting that chicken nice and cooked before we fry it. We're going to slice some onions up. Get our onions Already, you could start to smell the freshness. You could just smell everything coming together. It's just an amazing thing to, you know, have all these fresh vegetables. Now we're on to our tomatoes. Get our tomatoes all chopped up. Slice them. We're going to slice them in half, cut them up in fours and then slice them in half. Get our tomatoes inside of there with our onions. We want to get all of that blended together. Now we're going to put in some more seasoning. Yeah, this is black jenge. 
and this is used to make the benachin white this is for white benachin this is so we're gonna get this all the seasoning mixed with our onions and our tomatoes we're gonna get all of that mixed in uh, really nice we're gonna add some black pepper to this we're gonna put our black pepper all together with this we're gonna add our beef bouillon we're gonna get our beef bouillon in there so we can all of this is to make our gravy after that we went outside we wanted to check our chicken our chicken was coming along wonderfully after we checked our chicken we took that off we put on our other pot so we can put our oil in there and get everything ready so we can start frying our chicken we add our oil to it okay now we got our other vegetables we got our carrots our sweet potato our cabbage our cassava which we cutting up right now our pumpkin is in there our bitter tomato is in there so we getting everything prepared we getting everything ready a lot of goodness a lot of healthiness in there we getting everything prepared now we are going to add our chicken to this nice grease right here this oil this is going to be popping this is just popping good you see what that's doing right there it's just looking amazing we're going to start putting this chicken in there and getting everything fried up you know we want to get all of this together we got all of our seasonings inside of our chicken it was marinating for a long time so we know it's going to taste very good it's looking wonderful right now we're adding our goodness in there we're adding our tomatoes um with our onions and our seasoning so we can get our gravy together we're starting the first part of making our gravy just gonna spin that around move it around a little bit stir it around inside of that oil get everything going plus it has that nice chicken flavor is in the oil now we're putting our cassava in there we're putting uh, our carrots there we have our bitter tomato going in we have um, all of our stuff we're putting everything in there getting everything ready to go our pumpkin is there so we're going to just stir all of that around, get all of those wonderful tastes mixed together and get our gravy started. Uh, this is the smell from this. It was just per just permeating the house, man. It, you could smell this all through the neighborhood already. The chicken was smelling. The vegetables were smelling. We're just going to stir that goodness around, keep moving it around, get the taste. Get You know, that the chicken broth was in there, the chicken taste and everything was in there. So. We want to just keep that going. We got our water right here. We're going to add a little bit of water to it just to stretch out the stock. It was so thick. It was so nice. So we want to we're going to add some water to it. Make it make it a little thick. This is exactly how they make it. Look at that. Everything coming together. That's our broth right there. That's our gravy coming together right there. It's just looking so wonderful. The smell is exotic. Now we're going to move on. Time to start washing our rice, get our rice all washed up. We're going to go back outside. All that goodness that we pounded, it was just sitting there marinating, just waiting. So now we're going to take all of those things that we pounded, all those nice vegetables and herbs, and we're going to put that right inside of our gravy and get that all mixed in. Put all that love together, mix all of that in together. Make that, It's just going to make a really nice sauce, a really nice gravy for our chicken and it's going to be the stock for our rice so yeah we want to get all that together get everything mixed in stir that right around oh uh, this is going to cook so nice it, guys if you could smell this right now i'm telling you it's so delicious everything that was going on was just too wonderful we're going to add our chicken back in there now so we can make sure that it's even more chicken taste you know get the, the we want to swap taste so we're going to have the gravy is get some of the chicken taste and the chicken is going to get some of the gravy taste i'm telling you it's a wonderful trade-off oh it's so amazing the smells of africa it just smells so wonderful now we're going to put our strainer on top so we're going to do like a steaming we're going to steam this rice before we actually cook it we don't want to cook it first we want to steam it first this is the truest process to how you make benachin this is the real way this is why gambia and senegal always wins the competitions when it comes to the rice because they know the secrets and we are sharing the secrets with you today how to make that rice super 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 nice like the gambians like the senegalese do it this is the best way to do it we're gonna 
make a hole in the middle so that heat could come right through there. Remember this this stream steamer, this uh, strainer is sitting on top of a pot that's already boiling with all of that goodness in it. Now we're going to wrap a rag right around it. We're going to wrap this rag right around it so that steam from the other pot, none of that steam can escape. We're going to lock it in and prison all of that uh, steam from the other pot. Now we got everything locked in there. We're going to put a top on top, get a top on that thing, lock all of that good heat in and get this rice all steamed up. I'm, I'm telling you guys, the smell was too crazy. Now we came back, you know, to check on it, see how our rice is doing. Our steam is so wonderful. Everything is steaming wonderful. We're going to now we're going to pull out all of the essential things out of our gravy. We want to pull everything out the gravy so that we can get the rice in that uh, in that wonderful sauce. We want to get the rice in that sauce. So we got to take all the vegetables out. We're going to take everything out. Man, this was smelling so good. It was so hard to video. I swear I just wanted to grab the chicken, grab all the vegetables and just eat it just like that. It was just so amazing. We're pulling everything out, pulling out our yams, pulling our carrots out, our cabbage. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, man, that looks utterly amazing. Now we're going to take our rice and we're going to just put our rice right inside of this gravy right inside of this delicious sauce with all of these herbs and everything just oh man it's just amazing the smell was just intoxicating it's so amazing look at that like it's a wonderful brown gravy and we're just gonna get all of this rice in there scrape all of the rice down in there get everything in there we want to get it all in there we're gonna get this rice and start to stir this rice around Look at that, guys. Look at that brown gravy with that rice. Oh, man, I'm telling you, this was just too much. It was intoxicating. The smell was too Okay, our rice is done. Everything is done. Now it's time to taste this good. So now, the big reveal. You've seen everything put together. You've seen the way the sauce was made, how it was all of those, the season and everything was put in, all of those, all those vegetables, those nice vegetables that were put in. You've seen the pounding, the African pounding, how they pound everything, all of that goodness made, that nice, all those good, fresh taste. Everything is so nice. You've seen it all put together. But I know you're wondering, what does it all look like when it's ready, when it's all done? Here goes the big reveal. Wow, just look at that right there. Look at that, how beautiful that look. All of that seasoning, everything put together so nice. We are going to enjoy this. This is going to be super nice. Look at everything. Look at all of the seasonings. Just You could just see them all immersed inside of the vegetables, inside of that rice. Oh, man, we're going to have an enjoyable time. I wish you guys were sitting here with me right now. This is going to knock your socks off, as they would say. <laughs> okay, here we go. You guys are ready for that time-tested reveal? African food culture everything all together here we go let's 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 get into it let, let me get let me get right on into it. let me let you guys see what we're getting into we're gonna get right on into it mm. Mm. the flavor is just dancing in my mouth so panel everything is so wow you could, you could taste everything mm. Wow, I definitely wish you guys were here with me for this. This is amazing. African food, Gambian food, good culture. The smells when it, when they was cooking the food, all the smells were just making me so hungry. I was ready to cry. Mm. That cabbage. Oh man. Oh man, the the, the, the taste, how everything is just coming together. It's amazing. Mm. Oh, man, I wish you guys was here. You guys have to come to Africa. You have to come taste Africa. You have to come taste authentic African food in Africa. Experience Gambia. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful people. I'm going to let you guys go. 
so I can sit here and enjoy this wonderful, wonderful food that we're tasting. I definitely, you guys got to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Don't miss out on our videos so you can see more cooking shows. You can see more videos, more new things we're going to bring. You guys, I thank you so much. You know this is my journey in my hydra, but you guys are always invited. I thank you guys so much for coming along. It's your brother, Abdullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to all my Muslim brothers and sisters. And peace, peace, peace to all my other friends and followers. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ar-Rahman.